don't be afraid if you really want to ride the wave then ride the wave and fly away step up don't be afraid if you really want to ride the wave. so i had a really interesting dream and uh i'm gonna break down the dream and then we're gonna talk about it over on patreon now i do want to say chosen ones things are getting thick things are getting thick okay you got to do what you got to do to make this work okay all right so i'm gonna tell you about this dream and then we're gonna break down i'm gonna break down three of the points here on youtube then we take it over to patreon for point four five and six okay now this dream it should make you guys feel really good it doesn't matter where you are in your process in your journey right now this dream should give you some insight okay so boom the dream so you're standing under this I'm only going to call it a viaduct, or it's like a carport. It's this big thing that y'all are standing under because it's raining, right? And nobody wants to step from under this roof shelter thing because it's raining so bad. Now, this area, there are a lot of people, lots and lots of people. So much so to the point where you can, you know, barely walk through the crowd. And that's when you realize... <gasps> I got a walker and as soon as you realize you were holding on to a walker you dropped it immediately like why am I holding a walker and then you turn around and you began to walk away from the walker now as you walk away from the walker you're like ah should I have just left it like there like that what if somebody trip over it what if somebody pick it up and steal it and you're just like who cares then you're looking at the rain and you see how everyone else is just standing there waiting for the rain to stop you like forget it I'm ready to go right now. I'm going to just walk out there into the rain. I'm going to take my chances. So you start to walk towards the rain. Right when you're getting ready to come from under the, the viaducts or the, the, the roof thing, whatever. As you walk out, suddenly somebody comes and throw an umbrella over your head and grabs you from behind and like holds you to escort you. And so as soon as the umbrella comes and this big arm comes and, and wraps you up, you like, oh. you was hit with such relief. Just when you thought you was about to walk into the rain, here comes an umbrella and an arm to escort you. So then you begin to walk and there's this pathway. Now you couldn't see the pathway before because it was so much rain. But when you stepped out into it, that's when it appeared. So y'all walking down this path and this, this person is holding you real tight and it felt so good. You felt so secure. And then all of a sudden you come to this huge high rise, a huge, nice office building. And you walk inside. And when you walk inside, the person takes the umbrella, they take their arm and then they leave. And you walk into the building and you're looking around like, man, it's nobody here. I got the whole building to myself. And just think, all those people right there, they can't even see it because the rain is too thick. Is anybody going to take the chance to walk over here? Or am I going to have this whole thing to myself? Okay? Boom. So then you wake up. Okay? Now, we got to talk about what this means now i need y'all to pay attention to number two okay we're gonna break it down we're gonna go on order but number two is very very important okay especially chosen ones how to put it put that stand up we got to talk about it okay so let's talk about this thing that i don't know the name for i keep calling it a viaduct but it's not for like no no water no uh river nothing like that it's a a roof like it, it it's a roof but everything is open you can see around 360 it's like a carport Right. But it was really big and there were hundreds of people standing under this thing. OK, um, that's the place where everyone is waiting for the rain to stop. In life right now, people are going through it, but they're not doing anything about it. It's kind of like the um, the comfort zone, the uh, the scary people section. You know, it's like everybody is congregated. OK. Also, it was a really big light under there too everybody wanted to be under the light everyone wanted to be able to see it's scary it's dark it's raining but as long as we're under this light we should be safe somehow right we should we can still see right um this was a covering okay felt a feeling of protection so it's a false sense of protection as i was getting it okay because there's only one thing touching you from the from the top you only protect it from the top Right. So a lot of people are uh, living now under a false sense of protection 
or false senses of, let's say, income, faulty foundations, people doing stuff that ain't part of their purpose. They got a whole lot going on, but it's not going to protect you for long. It's only covering your head, but 360 around your body, you can get towed off at any moment, okay? I hope that makes sense. It's like some, some people are in the wrong department, okay? Um, again, the main part is the comfort zone. We got too, way too many people in the comfort zone. Now, let's go to number two, okay? There's going to be a real quick, brief breakdown. Number two, the walker. Boy, some of us had, have, or will have in the future... A crutch, uh, something that we're holding on to that is holding us back. When you have a walker because you are in need of a walker, that walker is a blessing. It is a, you know, it's a power tool. But nothing's wrong with you and you're using a walker. That walker is now a hindrance. It's making you slower. It's holding you back. Some of y'all, this is a person, it's a thought, a mindset, the way you see life. Whatever this walker is, the second you drop it, you're going to get some support in another area or somewhere you thought you wouldn't. Some of y'all, um, when, you when you're dealing with a walker, it's because you're not walking upright, right? It's, it's, it's because something's wrong with your legs. Generally, when we talk about legs and feet spiritually, we're talking about direction, right? Some of y'all are crippled in your mind and you think you need direction you think you need somebody to tell you what to do or where to go or how to do it and it's only a crutch some of y'all are holding on to pain that's not even there no more you're still telling the same story crying over the same thing 15 20 years ago and you've already processed it you've already cried about it you've already gone through the grieving of it and you still keep doing it you still like you go you ever seen that people go through the grieving process 20 times what how many stages? i forgot how many stages in the grieving process look it up but you go through the process and you get rid of the walker and then you go through the process again like okay uh 12 step program let's start at stage one and then a year later uh I gotta start over at stage one you know what i'm saying it's a crutch. It's like when you heal you heal uh what they say who god said free is free indeed take your freedom Take your freedom. Some of y'all crutch is, you know, your your friends, your family, your job. You holding on to it. Cause, cause, cause if I let it go, I won't be able to walk straight on my own. Okay? And this that's that's the point of a walker. The walker is to help you walk because you can't. But if you can walk on your own, drop the walker. If you strong enough to leave that toxic relationship. Leave the toxic relationship. It's not even the fact that it's a walker. It was the realization for me. The second you realize something is holding you back. Okay, I know y'all be like, where's the tarot cards? Okay, the cards was cool for a season. But baby, I got so much more inside of me that I'm bigger than the cards now. I said what I said. If you don't like it, unsubscribe. But I'm bigger than that now. I've ascended. God has given me greater information. So what used to work for me don't work for me no more. And if I keep holding on to that, I'm only going to hinder myself. Where's the growth? Some of us are growing. And that is what is required. The walker doesn't help you grow after you've already been healed. Okay? I don't know who this is for. I don't know what your walker is, but I'm here today to tell you for sure what I do know, you don't need it no more. You will make it just fine, excuse me, you will make it better and faster without it. Figure out what your walker is and drop it immediately, okay? Now, let's go on to the next point. The next point is all about that umbrella, okay? That umbrella is a covering. It's a new covering. See, when we was under that viaduct, right, and we was wanting to be covered, right, that was a false sense of covering. It made us feel good because we wasn't getting rained on. But like I said, something could come flying through at any moment and knock you off. But God is about to give you a new covering, okay, a personal 
covering. Instead of standing under the viaducts with them hundreds of people, God is about to give you your own personal covering. Okay? And not only does this covering come to cover your head, remember I told you this arm wrapped around you? Okay? But we're going to talk about that on Patreon. Right now, we're just going to focus on the umbrella. Okay? You, the reason why God is giving you this covering is because you was willing to step out on faith. Period. That's how we're going to say it, you know, for earth terms. In the dream, you was willing to walk out into the rain. You were like, okay, at this point, I done dropped my walker. I decided I'm not standing under this thing with all these people who's scared. I'm going to take my chances. I'm going to take a leap of faith, and I'm going to walk out there. And if I get wet, I get wet. But guess what? I ain't going to die from a little water. I ain't going to drown in the rain. I'm going to take my chances. And as soon as you stepped out on faith, God said, no, I don't even worry about it. I'm not going to let you get wet. You're the only one out of all these people decided to take this leap of faith. No, forget that. Let me show you. Let me make an example out of you. Let me show everybody what I'm going to do for those who ain't scared to walk out on faith. And that's where all of that covering came from, okay? Um, the umbrella was a gift from God for your faith. Point blank, bottom line, period, okay? Straight to the point. Now, we're going to go over to Patreon. We're going to do four, five, and six. And um, make sure you guys be on the lookout for the music video that we'll be dropping on Love Day, Ride the Wave. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.